Indeed, and uh, I think kids is the right word as well, Lucy. It is pretty extraordinary, the age profile of some of our medalists, young teenagers, but still with such accuracy and such cool heads under immense pressure. And that so often in archery is what it's about, to, it's handling that pressure at the big moments. So we commence with the compound under 21 women's bronze medal match featuring Pin Swan Li and Fang Yi Chen, both of Chinese Taipei. The introduction of the officials. And aforementioned, it's an 18 meter circuit here in indoor, 40 centimeter target with a triangular tri spot. Of course, these young archers are uh, going to get ready for their first arrows. Lee was actually ranked. Uh, number one and Chen was ranked number two, but of course they're in the bronze medal match today. Nice. You can see a couple of nerves there. Nice. Opening couple of arrows away successfully. And you can just see there ticking down in the bottom left of Lee's screen. That is the 20 second timer, just 20 seconds to get that arrow away. And at the moment, matching each other arrow for arrow. So with compound archery, of course, we have the inner circle that's the nine. 10 and then that outer circle that is actually a nine for compounds so these girls they're doing really well they're getting that that outer 10 but it's a uh, in indoors it counts as a nine for nine compounds points. so 27 apiece and in compounds Unlike recurve, these are cumulative scores, so we're not going to be traveling in sets. It'll be a combination of all the arrows. So it is about consistency throughout the entirety of the contest. And Pin Swan Li, she beat H.E. Wu, 142 to 138 in her quarterfinal before being edged out by Yu Chi Xiao, 145 to 141, both competitors from Chinese Taipei. Fan Yi Chen has the limited experience on the Asian Grand Prix circuit to bring into this an age just 15 years old. It's so great to see these young archers actually performing in front of a stadium like this. Obviously the crowd will probably get bigger and bigger as the day goes on, but for them to get this exposure is just incredible. Nine points. So it looks like nerves are getting the uh, the best of these girls. They haven't got the ten yet. Nine points.
There we go. The first 10 of this bronze medal match. That's going to give you some confidence going through the match. So Chen seemingly finding her range with her last two arrows both being tense and opening up a two-point lead after the opening six arrows. Again, a cumulative score, five ends of three arrows apiece. Heading into the third end with a two-point lead. I think in matches like these, it's about getting that first 10 on the board. Then the nerves can just dissipate. And uh, you can see a slight smile on her face there. She, uh, she's obviously more relaxed now. And that relaxation as well that the 10 brings, it adds to the next arrow. We're talking about the score being cumulative but also those tens are cumulative. You get the first one, as he said, under your belt, then the second comes, and it all feels a lot more relaxed and flowing more rhythmically. Completely. And I think, obviously, Lee is, she's struggling. She's she's getting that sort of inner nine. Ah, yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> She'll feel happier now. And as you said, it's yeah. that confidence, that first 10, and it just builds up and builds up, gives them more confidence. And Lucy, in terms of the 20 seconds that they have, is that a big time pressure demand just to be constricted to 20 seconds? Because there are some who really like to take their time and settle themselves. So, but in indoor, Ten. you really don't have that option. I think, so indoors and outdoors, they, the archers get 20 seconds for these arrows. And I think, yeah, you can, no. when you start getting down to three seconds, that's when uh, the coaches will start shouting at you like three two one um of course if you shoot beyond that one those 20 seconds then it's a miss so yeah as you said there is quite a lot of time pressure that these these um these girls will have to deal with and this might be the first time that they've had to to shoot in this situation before so obviously if you've got more pressure those 20 seconds feel like 10 seconds Nice to see the next generation here at the NTSU Arena soaking up the talents of our two bronze medalists in the under 21 compound women's bronze medal match. We're taking care of all the under 21s medal matches in the first session, then the seniors to follow. But there will be eight medal matches straight off the bat. And I'd imagine nearly all as close as this one between Lee and Chen. One point between them. So that's what we were saying there with timing. She um, she struggled to load up the arrow there, and um, that one second she managed to she managed to get the arrow off and got it got a nine. Thank goodness. But uh, she, Lee was pushing that timer close this time. She won't want to do it this time. Nine. Nine. 
Puzzle tag. The girls seem um, to have not quite got their rhythm, but then, you know, if this is a first finals for them potentially, they're so young and it's just, you know, incredible for me to see that they're getting this exposure at a World Cup stage at such a young age. It's, um, it's brilliant. And at the moment, Fang Yi Chen, the one handling the pressure just that little better. That felt like a big arrow there at the conclusion of that end. Target number one having some timing issues. I'm not sure what happened with the score. We'll see what the judges have to say. Mm. Currently, we have Chen Fang Yi on target number two with a two point lead going into the fourth and crucial set. Oh, crucial end. They yeah, have so the announcer right there. The two point lead heading into a crucial end. Completely. And having a two point lead, you know that if you just if you get a couple more turns, you're absolutely fine. And each arch will be thinking, I just need three turns. I just need three turns. Well that shot that we were just given a wonderful demonstration of just how small those targets can look from this eighteen meter range. So uh, Lee adjusting her sight there, hoping that she can get a 10 in her last arrow. There we go. Little sight adjustment always helps. But Chen responds with a 10 of her own. Much to the delight of those here in the arena. And each arch will be waiting for confirmation from the uh, judges in there. There we go, we have confirmation. So there we have it. Fang Yi Chen, victorious in our opening contest of the afternoon in Chinese Taipei.